welcome back to my channel guys so today i'm gonna try and talk to you guys about painting so i don't know if you guys have ever tried, wanted to like get into painting but you're not sure where to start or what you need so i hope this video will help the things that you need of course you're going to need paint i'm gonna talk about like the different types of paint so you're gonna need paint you need paint brushes Yes, this is all that I have because I had to throw away some. So you're gonna want to buy some paint brushes, preferably the ones that look like these. So when you do like, you see how those bristles are like free? Yeah, so paint brushes like this. See paint brushes like these now. You see how stiff that is and it's kind of clumped up. I need to throw this away. So yeah, these now, you don't want these. Um, yeah, so you're going to want some white brushes, you're going to want some like fan brushes, but you can just start off with some smaller ones like these, like these, basically, and invest in a palette knife, get a palette knife guys, because when you're mixing the paint with a brush, the paint tends to like clump up in the brush and then, you know, you have to wash out the brush and then use it again for the next color. With a palette knife now, you can just scoop up the paint, drop it here so mix it. And then you'll have, first of all, you're going to have twice the amount of paint you'd get from using a palette knife rather than just mixing it with a brush. And then, you know, there's not, you can just clean this up and then mix on it a different set, set of colors. So get a palette knife, guys. And mixing paint with your brush damages the brush. Um, in the long run, I really want to damage your brushes because brushes are expensive. So you want good um, paint brushes. The green tiles don't want like a cloth, but I just use I just use tissue because you know easy to show it. Um, for like rinsing out your brush and other than that. All right. So the types of paint that I know about or that I have used i'm not don't take my word for these guys go and research but i'm just going to tell you what i've experienced with these paints and you know what's my take on them basically so there's acrylic watercolors and oils however when i was in high school i i my teacher made us use watercolor to learn but now that I'm understanding how watercolor is, I don't think you should start with that. I think the cheapest one and the easiest one is acrylic. And what you can do is like, the only problem with acrylic, it dries really fast. So you can just have a little spray bottle beside you. So when it starts to like dry, you can like spray a little water on the canvas or on like the paint so it doesn't dry fast. So for acrylic, my brand really is free. Uh, I don't know which other brands are out here, honest. You're like in case. So yeah, you just and you don't have to go and buy a whole pack of colors. Um you can buy the primary colors. So you know just get the blue, red and yellow, get white and get black. But yeah. So the thing with acrylic now, yeah, it dries really fast. So that's the con, that's what I don't like about it, but if you're doing like textured pieces, it's really great, it's thick, it, you know, it does all of that. Um, it's a bit hard to blend though because it dries so fast, but as I said, you can use like a spray bottle with water. And that's a pro as well, you only need water to use with acrylic because it's a plastic based paint, so water helps. But to me, that's um, I, I hate acrylic, to be honest, I hate it. Um, and I like to take my time when I'm painting. I can't do that with acrylic, you get me? Uh, then we have oil paint. Oil is pretty expensive though, and it's kind of, it's really hard to work with and it takes a lot of time. So it will take you like oh, two months to do a painting because with oil you have to do it in layers. And then, there are 
certain mediums that you have to use with oil you can't use water with oil you can use like paint thinner but i i've tried using paint thinner but i just can't tolerate this well so i moved from paint thinner to these this is called odorless mineral spirits um I hear that using linseed oil as a medium is the best way. I haven't tried it as yet. I hope I'll get to try it as soon as I can find the linseed oil. You use these mediums with the oil. The only problem is you have to be very careful about where you put like the cloth that you're wiping these chemicals in because they will literally catch fire. So be very careful with that. And you don't want to be inhaling all of it. So make sure you're in a um, very well ventilated area. So you might want to have like my like, windows open because you know I can only really paint in the day with oil. But as I was saying, um, so it's kind of like a watered down version. So you you sketch out what you want, and then now the next layer you'd have more paint and less medium until when you reach your final layer, it's mostly paint, and then you just add a little bit of medium to it. But the thing is, with these now, layers take like two, three weeks to fully dry before you can add on the next layer. But if you're the type of person that, you know, procrastinates or, <laughs> or um, you want to like take a break, you have to like sleep on it and then go back next day and see, you know, what's wrong. And then the good thing about it, if you take a break and you go back like, days after if you see something that you don't like it, it can be fixed because it's not dry as yet so that's that's a pro for me it may be a con for lots of people but that's a pro for me because sometimes when i'm painting everything in a day i don't realize what i don't like until like i sleep but sleep it off and i was like oh i don't really like that but then i can fix it because it's still wet if you're like a fast painter you want to get everything done in one day acrylic is for you ah uh, but if you're all about blending and all of that, well, wait. And then we have watercolor. Um, watercolor is a bit expensive. It's watercolor is expensive. Um, and I hear a lot of people complaining, oh, this this tiny tube and it finishes in like in one painting. It is watercolor. The medium that you use with this is water. It should be mostly water because it's not really like paint. Like when you put it on the, 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 the paper, it's more like a stain. It's not really paint. It doesn't give that paint look. If you're about that. I mean, it has a nice look. I wouldn't... It just depends on what you're going for in your painting. The good thing with this, it will last you longer because... As I said, it's more, the ratio is mostly water to paint, and the only medium is water, water, or your tears, because painting makes you want to cry. Personally, if I'm going to do, this is just me though, if I want to do like an abstract painting, I'm going to use acrylic, because it dries quick everything. If I'm going for more of a realism type of thing, I use oil because it's so well blended. I don't know, something about oil. The light, the, the paint is really thick. It's, really, it's thicker than acrylic. So watercolor has a nice look, you know, depending on what you want to do. That's really the difference between them. Watercolor is water-based, acrylic is plastic-based. They both can be used with water. Oil, however. You use it with mediums such as turpentine, mineral spirit, paint thinner, linseed oil. And if you want to use any other oil, make sure it's a drying oil, not a non-drying oil. Non-drying oils would be like, you know, your vegetable oil, them's up there. Drying oils now would be like the linseed oil. The most common one is linseed oil though. But as a beginner, I highly recommend using acrylic and just have a spray bottle with water next to you in case you know it's, it's starting to dry and you're getting a little panicky just use a little water water saves everything guys everything yeah so i'm gonna show you guys a little part like a little swatch so you can see and then you can decide which one is best for you and you know i hope it was helpful 
and this is just what i know or what i've experienced with these paints you can go and do additional research to decide what you want to use so i hope i hope it helped if you want to see anything else just comment below what you want to see and i will try my best to do it but i'm also going to do a beginner's painting tutorial because i know you guys want to like at least try but i wanted i wanted to put this video out there so you can you know decide what materials you need and you know what paint you should use before i even jump into like a painting tutorial so i will see you next time okay so i'm gonna show you guys a swatch of each so this is acrylic in yellow blue and this is watercolor in yellow blue and we have oil in the same pathalo blue. So I want you guys to see the same color and so you can be able to tell the difference. You will also need a cup of water for watercolor and acrylic. And you're also going to need paint thinner for the oil paint or whichever other medium as I was discussing. So for acrylic, it gives a pretty thick kind of layer but that's basically how it looks and if it's too thick you just add a little water to it and if you want um if you need need it to blend out some more you use water for watercolor now you add a lot of water to the paint you're gonna make it really watery so when you put it on the paper it kind of gives that stain kind of effect as you can see now we're going to try out the oil paint the oil paint is really thick it's way thicker than acrylic if you want a thinner layer you're going to add a little bit of paint thinner or any other medium to it so you can thin it out if you don't like it as thick so that's just completely up to you so you basically use water with acrylic and watercolor and then paint thinner or a drying oil with oil paint so i, I hope you guys found it helpful i hope you can tell the difference so like comment share and subscribe guys i really appreciate it and leave a comment of what you want to see next